All right, good afternoon, everybody. I am Omni Rusted. Welcome back to Thea 2 The Shattering. I promised I'd bring this back. Uh, so a lot of stuff has changed. I've gone over the patch notes in the video that I'm going to be posting. A uh, couple things. If I wanted to, there's actually a change profile button now. I could actually change what gods I'm working with, but I think the ones that I have at the moment are going to be just fine. I got my YouTube chat over here, or my Twitch chat over here, in case anybody on YouTube wants to see what everybody's talking about. Uh, let's just start a new game, see what all the new fuss is about. Uh, so... Oh. Do we get to actually, like, select a god, or is it just... Oh, it's all down here now. Oh, say, okay. Uh, we only got Zoria... And... Svarog. Uh, let's just actually go back, and we'll just... Uh, yeah, that's... It's an alpha. It's an alpha, that's a thing. I'm gonna actually go back here, and I'm gonna hit change profile. It's a... Brand new patch, brand new me. You know, let's just do that. Maybe we'll get some new godlings, too. Uh, looks like we got Zoria and... Zivana. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. I'm sorry for whoever uh, knows that I'm butchering the hell out of this. It's Slavic mythology, so... I walk in the watchful shadow of the old Mother Earth who lies silent. I listen to her whispers and sing her songs. Mistress of the forest, spirits of nature, lady of the earth. Those are the names mortals call me. But do not be fooled by the beauty of my domain, by the desire to uphold life and treasure balance above all. Uh, it's also translated into English, so you're going to get some grammatical stuff here. Uh, nature is not your calmly mother. Calm, calmly mother? Cross my path in defiance of the eternal laws and you will learn the fury of the forest. For I am also the Huntress, silent and vigilant, true to my cause and unwavering in my resolve. Defile my domain at your own peril and taste the whisper of the forest at your shoulder before death comes for you. Walk with me amongst the trees if you dare. She gives you plus one animal senses, uh, a harmony domain, nature domain, and three neutral. Or we can go with Zoria. I've read her before. Hmm, that's actually not bad. My father claims the right to be master of light and sun, but it is we who ride the night skies in their infinity. The morning star rises far and faded, subtle and ever watchful of her enemies. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You know what this says. Uh, so, two extra god points, war cry, domain magic, turmoil, and neutral. I'm going to go with Zoria here. Let's see, what is war cry? Each character gets plus two wits. That's not bad. That's just an automatic thing. I can drag and drop here to see where we go. Let's hit add a character warrior for that one. Add a scavenger. That's the only one I really have for that one. I have two god points I can spend here, but there's nothing here that costs only two. That's the unlock thing. All hail the mighty titty tree. Oh god, it's already started. Uh, let's see. Granny's pantry with a pack of food. Start with one piece of equipment. Add a craftsman. I think I don't remember if we can do these ones. No, we can't do these ones. It's only the gray here, which is Granny's pantry and basic equipment. Not the best. Not the best. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. We go in with the titty tree. I don't want a scavenger. I want. Damn it, VIP. Now look what you did. Like, two additional children or a hunter. Oh, wow. Mithril goat. What? Oh, it's a goat carrying sacks of mithril. That makes way more sense. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get the warrior here, which is going to be a little painful. That means we only start with one. We can't ever start with an extra gatherer or craftsman. Uh, the two extra children are going to be great because they could be anything. What is animal sense? Each character gains plus one gathering. Um... What do I want here? Craftsman or gather? I'm going to go with a craftsman, actually. That is not... It's only gatherer. Oh, this is actually painful. Hmm. This is actually painful. Granny's pantry, basic equipment. Uh, this is actually a little painful. But we're going to go with it. Let's go with it. Start with six people, which is great. Love that. Here you decide who will be God's Chosen. The character will be important to the main quest line. The Chosen can be of any class you start with, including any additional characters you may have selected from the God traits. Don't forget to give them a name. I am gonna... I mean, we're gonna get a warrior, because, like, 
we need a we need a warrior. Um, a lot of good male portraits, except for that guy. He looks a lot like me, which is sad because I'm growing a lot of gray hair. Uh, there's also the good female ones. Ooh, practical female armor. What? In oh, never mind. Oh, damn. Damn, Merida grew up. Wow. Uh, oh, I love the side cut. That's gorgeous there. Oh, and it actually has like the, the leather coat. That's uh, practical leather armor, except for the cleavage. I don't know why it has that. I have no clue. That does not seem like it would give more mobility. Yeah, ac like accurate female armor. This is what it's supposed to look like, gamers. That one's nice too. That one's really nice. A lot of leather straps on there. No ridiculously useless cleavage. Hello. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That is actually very attractive. Uh, let's... Anyway, um, uh, yeah, this guy. Because it looks like me. I made myself sad. Can I actually, like... Nope, I can only pick one person. Okay. Just checking. Just checking there. What are the other guys? Man. Hey, Timmy, why does your dad let you have two axes? Fan service, yeah, that's that's the only reason for it. I don't like his smile or his facial hair. I like that guy. He looks like he's from Thor. Dude! I'm just plain old frightened to him. Hot damn. What? He looks fancy. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's my DM with longer hair. And that, oh, damn! Look at that cloak! And that's about as much facial hair as I can ever grow. You know what? I'm going with this guy. Because that's the that's the kind of that's the kind of armor I'd go for. Nice padded, keeps you warm. I love the cloak. I want that cloak. I want that cloak. Holy, holy crap, we're going with him. Yeah. Hello there, Chosen. Welcome into the service of the gods. As a believer myself, I am happy to be the one to guide you. So it's it's not the guy from back before. He's giving me a cosmic seed. Ask who he is exactly. It's a damn nice cloak. Theodore is the name. Little old me is not relevant here. You are. I'm here to tell you of some basic rules and hand over any divine objects that may have been disposed upon, dis blah, bestowed upon you. Damn, I'm trying to, trying to give you a voice here, Theo. First and foremost, the Cosmic Seed. Cosmic Seed? Yes, Thea is far from a land of prosperity. Darkness was defeated long ago, but it is not gone. It lurks in the corners and attacks at night. The shattering tears the earth asunder, and a scorching light takes hold of folk without protection. How does this relate to a seed? The seed and others like it is a gift of the divine, a piece of the cosmic tree itself. It can grant great boons. It allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection there. But if you wish for the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts, or even bring a comrade back from the clutches of death. It is Theodore, yeah, it's Theodore. One cannot build villages without a seed? Indeed, you catch on fast. Without the seed or different means that other factions may possess, a village attracts the cursed light and is taken by it within days. And if somehow that does not happen, terrors of darkness will drive your folk insane. This is how it has been in Theo for many centuries now. It is why we struggle still to survive just another day. I like that it actually like pointed out the fact that other factions survive through other means that we are not. They're not the cosmic seed, but we don't know how they work. Um, I, I do hope they get the same voice actor. I know he was so good. Although, if they're hiring, hey. Ask if there's anything else we need to know. I may pop up now and again to tell you of things, but for now, you must take your first steps into this hostile land. Remember to check for resources on the map for gathering, set up a camp for craft and cooking, and check your inventory to make sure you are well equipped. Here, have some wood, so you may heal when camping. My advice is to explore, learn the ropes, and only then decide on a settlement. Now, thank you. Thank you, Theo! Loved you. Missed you. Uh, he gave me 12 uncooked meat and some wood, two research points, and 0.8 experience. So we start here. Uh, we are a tiny little group here. Oh my god, look at all the kids! We got Petula. That's not, uh, that is not a name that raises much um, uh, confidence. Uh, let's see. She is a gatherer. Wow, she is really a gatherer. 9.7 in gathering. Uh, let's go to the equipment screen here. I can look through everyone. How do I? There it is. There's the button. Petula. She even looks like a Petula. 
<laughs> uh, we have iron jewelry, iron javelins, a bone wand. We got the kids, and the kids can actually get into combat. VIP, shut up. And there it goes. <laughs> Amber club. Oh, damn. That's a strength weapon. You don't need that. You're you're a tiny you're a tiny little girl. What do you have that for? Uh, you have nothing except for dirt. Uh, you have a bone wand, but no skill to use it with. Petula is uh good perception, so the javelins would be a very good thing for her. The leather artifact would not be. Also gonna take your robes here since we're giving you the javelin. Its weight is 159. Yeah, that's plenty there. You can use that. Do a little bit of damage if we need it. I have a sandstone sword. That sounds horrific. Lots of strength. A little bit of gathering there. I like that. Uh, no armor. Maybe I want to take the amber robes. We have basically decide who's going to be our tank and who's our damage dealer. Um, that's the damage dealer with the bone great sword. So I'll give myself the armor. Um, is the... What do we got? We got a sandstone sword, which is 1.2 weapon attack. That is 6.3... I mean, it's, oh, it's plus 6.3, plus weapon effects. The, the sword does increase shielding, which would be better on a tank. Uh, let's see, that is a weapon block. Give that to you. No, no, that uh, should actually go on one of the children who cannot wear jewelry. Okay. All right, that'll go on you. That is either for wisdom... It's either wisdom or destiny. Sandstone sword. That's uh. That's that doesn't sound ideal. No, it really does not. We we're gonna have to make something new for soon for myself. I don't have this hair right now. Like he needs longer hair, but like the rest is just like. That's a that that is the most facial hair I will ever grow. So, uh, let's go give the kids the bone wands. The the bone bone wands. They can at least do a little bit of damage from the back. Uh, these take looks like Destiny, which is just three max. We can at least give them those. I don't want one, somebody in the front line with that amber club. What is the difference between a club and the swords? Like, that's what I'm not understanding here. I'm not exactly, and I can't, like, can I, like, right-click? Nope. Okay, I can't, I can't really see how those work. But the one good swing would make that sword sand. Yeah. About how it works. Uh, we got some veggies, some wood, mushroom ghoul. They actually started with some food. Nice. Quite a bit of food, too. Okay. And I guess pretty much how I've seen this game working in the past. Uh, we do have one advancement point here. Um, how I've seen this game working in the past is you wander about. I want to make a new sword, don't I? Sword or armor? I don't remember. I'll save it for one of the resource pot resource things. Uh, where's my resource button? There it is. Uh, you find basically like a good place to live. So we're gonna search around for a little bit. Uh, when we run into movement points, we make camp. Although there's nothing to gather here, we can at least like maybe I don't know work on something. Maybe some food. Uh, let's see. Resource material. Oh, that we can actually make something out of that. Wow. Rolanda. Rolanda has a nice chunk of meat rolled with veggies, herbs, or anything else you found and baked. Oh, okay. Confirm that. Hit the unlimited button, and we'll just put Petula and myself on making that. I don't think we can make anything else. No gathering to be done. Uh, let's see. Screen lets you decide what, to, what you want to craft, what you want to craft it from. Pick a recipe from the list at the top. Record our materials. Select the scale. What is the more here? Okay. There's supposed to be a way that you can design your own stuff, but I don't understand how it works. Dryad, what, how, how high tier is that? Um, I think tier... Two? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. What I want to make is some gathering tools, but I don't have anything else to make it with, so we're just gonna 
Okay, end the turn. As you stop to refill your water supplies, you find a fish with a golden tail trapped in the shallow waters thrashing about. Oh, we're good to help the fish. I mean, it's a magical world. We're helping the fish. The fish regains its strength, and almost as soon as it is free to swim, it jumps and speaks to you. Thank you, kind strangers. You released me without the promise of a reward, and this is rare. I am bound by laws and cannot grant you a wish, but I can tell you a secret. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Tell me your secrets, fish. See that lake there? It is called Moker, which means wet in the old ton. tongue. Wait, sorry, I probably mispronounced. You'd think any lake would be wet, yeah? Y yeah? Exactly. Now, I'm not at liberty to disclose the full implications of the aforementioned name, but if you swim to the middle of the lake, you may or may not find some old castle ruins. Beware, though, for it is a wet lake. Could you be more specific? Just auto-resolve a lot of this small stuff here. Uh, totally. Okay, fine. We'll resolve it manually, then. This is the combat. It's a little weird, especially in the mental challenges. I'm mostly set for combat challenges right now. I'm going to hope that one of our kids is, like, really, really smart or something like that. Uh, we go first. Will a watery tart throw us a sword? One can only hope. Let's see. What skills do we have here? It shows blocking on that one. Uh, she appears to be... The most highly defended one, so we're actually going to select her here as a blunt attack, poison throwing dagger. We're trying to ask him to be more specific. Why would I throw a poison dagger at him? That's also a ranged attack. That's actually good to know. In that case, I'm actually going to take Christane here. I'm probably going to rename him after somebody in chat in just a moment. Uh, set him for normal damage right in the front, and then we're going to end our turn. They're going to set somebody off to the side. Yep, thought so. Um... We're only doing, like, one damage at a time, and that's... that means we're going to lose. I'll tell you that right now. I'll put myself right in front here. And we got one more point, so I'm going to put Petula with that throw with that poison dagger behind me. Alright, that's doubled up there. Let's start throwing some kids in here, because why wouldn't we? What is that? Shield. Increases shielding. Ooh, yes. Um, I mean, there's a blunt attack, but that has to be front row, and that's a child. So, give me some shielding there. I should raise the damage that I can take a little bit. Good. Um, let's do the same thing with Voitech. Let's just make me super tanky. And that's the end of that turn. I don't know what any of these mean, by the way. <laughs> In case you were wondering. I need some damage going out. I'm not, And that's basically just Petula. So let's get Petula again back here with that poison uh, dagger. She's our only damage. Which sucks. Yep. Uh, yeah, we definitely lost this, this this conflict. But what you're gonna do is you might be able to take down the book. He hit her no matter what. That's interesting. I mean, we might be able to do some things here. It's, it's not looking terrible. Like, if Petula can do a lot more damage to this book thing, they won't be able to take it out next turn. Nope, she hit the brain. But that brain is getting pretty darn low. Like, Petula's taken a lot of damage, and I don't like that, but that is just mental damage. If you would have had a shield, you'd be called the shield bearer. I I, I mean, I, I, have sh I have a shield, but this is, a, this is a wits conflict? Of which we are taking a shit ton of damage. Goddamn. All right, they went first on this one. I am going to, oh man. Yeah, I'm the only one with like any health right now. So I'm putting myself out again to tank. I got one more point here. So I'm tossing Petula with that dagger right behind us. That's our only damage dealer. These are pretty injured. Um, Let's again get some shielding out actually for Petula this time because she's actually getting pretty low, and I'm relying on, on her. I'm relying on my gatherer right now. 
one seven seven one. Like you could do two damage, so it's really tempt. You know? Can I put? Yeah. Fuck it, child warfare. Let's go. He'll be obviously protected by the teddy bear. Obviously. We're gonna, um, throw that out there again. And then... I only got one more point. Let's get some more shielding on... Yep. It's a mental challenge. Who cares the child is in the front? We're not actually being monsters. We're just letting the child argue for us. Exactly. Who wants to argue with a child with a teddy bear? Apparently... Apparently, this fish wants to argue with the child with the teddy bear. Doing some good damage. Yeah, the brain's down. Nice. We took that three right to the face. No problem. Two damage. Takes down your 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 book. Whatever that means. We all know a young child sometimes can make the blessed blood to arguments. It's true. It's true. I won. So, Wow. Oh, darn it. I'm going to be buried in paperwork for this, but fine. How does a fish do paperwork? There's an old castle ruin of black sword knights, so treasures are likely. That as you swim there, you will hear the weeping of a child. This spirit child died an awful death, as one might expect. In, in its death, it can be very unruly. Really? Really? Because I just had a child argue with you. I think I know a little bit about, about unruly children. But as you saved me, I'll reveal this. Sing it a lullaby as you swim past, and you will soothe its weeping and pass into the ruins safely. Beware, though, for there may be physical adversaries inside. Thank you, fish. He does water work, he doesn't do paperwork. So, as tradition has it, your god sent me to guide your first steps on this new and bewildering island. To get us started, check what resources you have near you. There's a toggle right to the minimap. Or, or, all right. If you have some food and wood, they're always good to stock up on. You need both to heal when camped, and you need a variety of foods to better heal your mental wounds and keep morale high. Finally, my first task to you, cook or find some more food, please. To do this, set up camp and choose that juicy chicken drumstick icon to cook, or the basket to gather food from the land. This is making me hungry, so hurry up! And he disappears. Good thing I'm already cooking, I guess. Um, There is a thing over here that must be the castle we were supposed to go to. Uh, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's break camp. Let's go. Oh, what? Slavens? Sloven? What the hell is that thing? I'm gonna check out my inventory really quick. Uh, yeah, we actually didn't take any mental damage from that conflict. All of our mental stats are perfect. Okay. Wait, is that somebody else's town? Man, I hope they're friendly. We have one movement here. I'm gonna move here. The lake in the middle of the forest. Yeah. You see among the low-hanging mist two islands on the lake. Most likely, that is where you can access any castle ruins the fish spoke of. Strangely, there's a small boat waiting for you at the shore. It is built of fish scales and has a golden tail. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Take the boat to the islands, prepare to sing the lullaby to the child spirit just as the fish warned you. As you approach the islands, you hear the faint yet growing sobbing of a young child, intertwined with the unnatural wailing that chills your bones. Sing the lullaby to appease the child spirit. Auto resolve? Nope. Okay, we resolve manually. At least we know how to handle it this time. Oh man. Okay. Um. Second verse, same as the first. You gotta find a way to hit those in the back there. I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, it's just rather obnoxious. Um, let's get more petulant in the back. I'm just gonna like spam her a lot. I don't even know what the what the difference with the poison is. Okay, we're gonna need somebody to tank the front there. You can tank right now, and then we're going to give myself some shielding. This looks like the exact same thing we had before. I know I need to do most of my damage here, but we've only got the one point here and I'm not going to get any more. So, do we want to send Robovo? Ro Robovo? Robovo? Uh, let's go here and actually just do that. He's going to take a lot of damage, unfortunately. 
Hope you had a wonderful day tonight. Oh, it's been a pretty good day. What's up, Dirk Tan? Basically, he's just here to distract them for a bit. He's not there to actually do any damage. Concept ranged attack. That's what I was worried about, is they're going to start hitting her pretty hard. I want them to be focusing on him because he's all alone, but they're not doing it. They're focusing on my damage dealer. Woe is me. She could take it, though. Damn, we are taking more damage than we did last time. I was really hoping to take the brain out of it so I wouldn't have to deal with him next time. God, leave her alone. She's my only damage dealer. And there goes my character. He's out of this fight. That really sucks. Shit. You're gonna have to tank, buddy. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, this is not going the same way it did last time. Uh, he should hit him. She should hit that. We're gonna look at the... Nope, nope. Uh, he's gonna hit first. Okay. Give her some armor. And then we're gonna throw you over here. All right, that's two damage there. Seven here. One more here. That's all right. That's all right. It's only four there, and I want to throw. Boytek can do two shielding, but one damage. Uh, give him some more shields. It's not much, but considering the damage they did last round, it might be enough to keep us alive. Who expected a small, like, crying child to be, like, this contrary? We should be able to take him out this turn. Okay. Oh, it's a slider for the speed now. Interesting. Shield the children with more children. That's right. It worked. Uh, Petula got mental blessing of increased wisdom, increased intelligence. Not bad. As you quietly sing the lullaby, the sobbing ceases and the fog and the light disappears. You now see that one of the islands is a stone built entrance to an ancient ruin. The other holds the remains of a small farmer's hut. Um, let's castle rooms directly. The entrance looks like old cellar doors or some other utility passage, for it is filled with the remains of caskets, woven baskets, and containers of perishable goods. By the way, caskets can also just mean a box. In case anybody was wondering, like, it's not, there's not bodies in those. The contents at first glance preserved in their entirety fall into dust when touched, and the ruins going further. Within the castle ruins, most corridors and rooms are submerged and buried in mud, but there's still a path intact and miraculously dry. Let's go down the southern path. <clears throat> a piece of parchment, wet to the touch, retracts from the lock mechanism with a space at the bottom and a quill for you to write with. Interesting. Apparently, you are meant to answer the riddle it poses. Tell me your riddle. My home is not quiet, but I am not loud. The Lord has meant us to journey together. I am faster than he and sometimes stronger, but he keeps on going for longer. Sometimes I rest, but he runs on. For as long as I am alive, I live in him. If we part from one another, it is I who will die. Our answers are a demon of the winds, like the Vili. Without its lord, the wind it cannot thrive. A fish in the river, its lord gives it life and flows continuously. Or the chosen of the gods, like yourself, surely. Yeah, the fish has us doing his paperwork. Um. Huh. Home is not quiet, but I am not loud. Lord is meant to journey together. It's a fish. It's definitely a fish. The letter on the parchment shifts. Well done, laddies. Here be your treasures. Iron and stone to you. It's iron and gold, which I guess is a stone, but that's a metal. The chest opens, giving us eight silver. And hey, gold, no iron, no stone whatsoever. But I'm okay with it. We're going to take that treasure and leave. As soon as you leave this place, low-hanging fog thickens. You know you will not find your way here again. Well, I'm satisfied. 
As soon as you leave the place, the low-hanging fog thickens, and you'll know you'll not find your way here again. Okay, that's just two research points, 1.1 experience points. Not bad. All right, that is all for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button if you want me to do some more Thea 2. Hit the bell so you know when I'm coming back because it helps my visibility, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.